right now. <laughs> and it's right at four o'clock too. Congratulations. You're good. To Thanks, go. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alona. I, Sorry about that. Not, whatever, it's all good. So Alona has posted uh, the document online for the class. And this is really going to be more kind of like a lecture class than a how-to class. Um, obviously, the document has how-to information on there. And I'm sorry if I look down, I'm looking at the picture. So it throws me off. Um, but this is how to present an item for competition. So when you go to an event and you're entering a tournament, a lot of times you're just throwing your item on the table. Um, that's fine, but you can always make your item look a little bit better. And it's something that marketing and sales does a lot of in just real life. And it's a subconscious effort and it makes your item look better when you present it a little bit nicer. So this is kind of going to be going over what you can do, um, both as kind of like a, uh, a, a basic, a simplistic uh, way to do so. And then also as a, kind of a superior is what I'm calling it, but just basically fancier um sorry if you hear that my cat food is dispensing it's great it's automatic so simplistic uh heh, sorry simplistic ways to display your entries for ans um are great because they are literally just kind of like the basic ways to display it so for like garb um garb accessories it would be laying your stuff out um, to having like plastic plates. And we'll go through a couple of different categories as far as those go. And then again, the superior way of doing it is more of the advanced way, which has more bought items, I would say, or bought or resource items. So um, again, simplistic presentation has a lot of positives. You can use little to no additional items. And then what you have, you may already have around your house. Um, it, it is a pro also because a lot of the items that you may use in this kind of a setting are disposable. So you don't have to worry about bringing them home from an event. You just take them, use them, and then throw it away. Um, or they cost little to no money. So first item, if you have the document up, if not, that's fine, is clothing. Uh, laying it out on the table, just creating a nice presentation. Make sure that the garb looks nice, that it's laid out nicely. Um, if you have decoration on the garb that you're presenting that kind of that aspect of it, that line, um, if you can see the pictures, you know, it's not the full tunic that's draped out on the table. It's kind of folded up so you see the decorative items on it um, or just hanging it up. And of course, obviously, hanging up depends on the event site. You may not have that option available to you. Uh, other ways that you can do with it are um, is. I'm sorry, other things that you can do for the presentation is just to make sure that the garb is nice in and of itself. So when you get on site, if it's gonna be something you're entering, take it out of your bag. If you had to bag it, put it in your bag, um, You know, throw it in uh, the shower when you're getting showered uh, on a hanger, not in the shower, sorry. Throw it in the room with you while you're taking a shower. The heat and the steam will help uh, take out any wrinkles in case you don't have an iron with you. Um, the next thing would be written works. Uh, this is uh, anything like poems, um, short essays, nonfiction, fiction, those kind of aspects. So uh, use a clear binder, a hole punch with either like a ribbon, a cord, or a metal ring on it. Um, what you want to make sure is, especially on your main page, is that your writing is large, it's clear, it's not misspelled, you don't have any crossed out words on it. Um, and then if you can uh, print it out, if possible, some people don't have a printer. I don't have a printer myself. Thank you work for some of my stuff I've printed out. Uh, but if you need to, you know, write it out, but just make it as nice as possible. Again, especially on that front page, because that's what they're going to see when they walk up to judge your item. Um, food and drink is one where it's, it kind of depends on what you can find as far as your resources. I've been lucky to find, uh, and it's in one of the pictures, um, it's plastic wear, but it's a silver color, so it kind of looks nicer. Um, but, you know, just use paper plates, the nicest ones you can find, or, you know, festively colored ones, ones that match the, uh, the kingdom coloring on there. Um, and then, you know, if you have to use a solo cup, use a solo cup. If you can get the clear, uh, clear plastic ones, those work as well. 
Um, and then stage the food. Uh, it's especially important for food displays to make it look presentable and nice. So, you know, angle the food, use, you know, the in the picture I have a bowl stacked on top of another bowl just to kind of give it a little bit of height there. Um, it just basically make it look nice because especially especially with food, that's where people um, look for the presentation on it, even if it's subconsciously. 3D art, uh, you wanna use like a, a foam stand or a support. So just like craft foam that we use or the um, camp pads that we use, you can use those as supports. You can also paint those, either just a spray paint or an acrylic paint on them. You may have to prime it first um, or rough it up with a little bit of sandpaper, but you can paint them. Um, cake plates or just a, a cake round, uh, excuse me, cake round, a round of cardboard and then you can cover it in tin foil. Those look nice as well. Those are perfectly presentable stands. And then also plastic frames. Um, for a lot of these items as well, while I'm thinking about it, Dollar Tree is a great venue. Uh, a lot of the plastic wear that I get and the silverware, the disposable stuff I get from the Dollar Tree, um, as well as like they do have uh, plastic frames, plastic stands. They're small, but they, they usually have the little stands and things like that. And then for 2D art, uh, we're looking at plastic picture frames, colored masking tape. And then if you're just gonna leave it bare, uh, try and clean up the edges, unless it's supposed to be left like that. And again, put it in your write-up if it's supposed to look like that. Um, but just anything to kind of encase it and make it look just a little bit more formal, so to speak, than just a, a piece of paper on the table. Uh, the picture that is shown in the document is actually using blue tape, which is the tape that you use when you're painting rooms. And that way it allowed me to take it back off when I'm done with it. So I just kind of snipped the edges on there and then did the other side, tucked it in and snipped the edges again. And then the superior side of things is again, positives to it is that it's gonna look a little bit nicer because you're spending a little bit of money on it. Um, which is also the con to it. Um, and then it also just uh, kind of uh, increases the expectation of the judges um, because you're looking at a really nice display. So you're kind of, again, subconsciously kind of going into it, expecting it to be a nicer item. So on the first thing is it's clothing. If you have one, um, a clothing form, a dress form, um, a clothing stand, uh, you can get them from Ikea for about $15, $20. Oh, or just a clothing rack. Again, Ikea sells those. Um, sometimes you can find them at Goodwill as well. And then, uh, especially for the superior way of uh, presenting items, you wanna make sure that your fabric is unwrinkled. Uh, it's not stained, obviously. Those threads better be clipped. Lady J knows what I'm talking about from earlier. Um, and it's just, it, it needs to be really well presented. Um, I suggest if you do have a dress form or a stand, just make sure that it's very stable <laughs> and it's just so it doesn't fall over and accidentally get your garb dirty on the floor because obviously a lot of the floor site at campsites are dirty. So just make sure that that's stable and or, you know, if you need to prop it or warn somebody that it may not be so stable, just make sure somebody knows just so it doesn't happen on accident. Um, and then another thing that you can do too is either like a pegboard or some sort of a leaning board uh, to present smaller items on. So that way they kind of stand up, they're upright and they're not just kind of flopped dead on the table uh, and just laying there. Uh, the example is uh, thankfully from uh, Dame Linden. It's a bag actually on the dress form or diaper bag really. Um, but that's another way that you can present it when you're doing just garb accessories instead of not just a tunic or a skirt. Your written, uh, written entries should be either spiral bound, they should be in a three ring binder, um, have a custom cover on them. They should be really well presented. They don't have to be obviously bound um, unless you took Anacena's class, in which case you can bind them. But you just wanna make them look as best as possible going into it. Um, you can also use either a thicker paper because there are different weights of paper. Some of the thicker ones are just, they just feel nice when you're uh, touching them. Or you can use like a unique paper. Uh, there's a lot of guides online for how to antique paper and you're just taking a tea and giving it a tea bath and throwing it in the oven. Um, the, you should have font or if it's written, again, it needs to be really nice. 
make sure that there's no spelling, there's no errors. If you're doing the whole thing as a written work, you do also want to make sure that your spacing, both between the columns and in between the paragraphs are both concise uh, and accurate to the others. Uh, uniform, I guess that would be the word. And then um, for food, that's obviously you can tell I'm harping on food the most, it'll be the longest one. Um, that's where I actually keep a set of plates and silverware and things like that of that nature that I would take for competition if I wanted to do. Um, but again, depends on, you know, travel too. If you're going to go on a plane, it's not practical. If you're going in a car and you have room, it might be a little more practical. But this is where you want to kind of up the game. Again, you can find a lot of stuff at Goodwill. Um, fairly inexpensive. Depends on your Goodwill. Sometimes you got to shop around. Um, but you do want to start using things like pottery, um, china, glass, silver. Uh, if you can find the nice wooden bowls. Um, some of them are kind of scuffed up and everything. So you may have to sand them down and refinish them. That's completely up to you. Just an option. Uh, glass, crystal, pottery, or china drink drinkware. Um, for like napkins, you want to use a like a thick paper or uh, a fabric napkin. Um, and then again, if you're going to reuse them, just make sure there's something that that's fairly washable. Um, you know, I'm not asking you to take your Irish linen out to the park unless that's what you really want to do. It's up to you. And then also um, any metal utensils, things like that, that you may need for serving. And then for 3D, we're looking at jewelry or model display stands, uh, molded stands that are covered. So those are the ones that are kind of like in the uh, the kind of velvet kind of covering, or you can use just uh, a custom made one out of foam and then cover that one in fabric. Um, they are also acrylic and wood shadow boxes that you can get either online or from some other craft stores that make really nice displays as well. And then again, custom displays such as shelving or frames that you can find uh, online, make them yourself whatever works best for you. And they are reusable, so that's a nice thing about it. For 2D art, um, in this, I didn't cover, but 2D art covers not just, you know, scrolls and photos and pictures, but also things like embroidery, uh, where you just want to kind of cover up the backside. So keep that in mind when you're looking at 2D art stuff. Uh, those you want to look more into now the wood or the metal frames. Um, they can have either the glass or the acrylic uh, facings on them. Obviously, glass looks nice um, and acrylic can get scratched a little bit easier. But for travel purposes, I would definitely recommend getting the, the acrylic or the plastic kind. Uh, and it's just, again, for travel, for wear, for reusability. You know, you don't want those things to crack on your way. Yeah, I've seen it happen. It's not pretty and it can damage your piece. Um, you can also get just a canvas stand if you're going to be using either an unfinished frame or something that you want to just prop up. So those are nice. Uh, a lot of times you can find those on sale. And then custom framing, um, you can use wood stained dowels uh, to make it look kind of like a scroll. You put one at the top, one at the bottom, and then a piece of string and you can hang it up. Uh, again, depending on the site, if you can hang it up, or at least it looks nice when it's on the, the table uh, or just other options. You know, it kind of depends on your piece. So other notes to mention is there are additional items that you can add to the presentation, such as tablecloth, decorative items that are going to match kind of your entry. Uh, so like if you're doing a floral crown, you can put in some, you know, extra little flowers around the table around it. Um, you can uh, go ham, you can get some wooden boards, you can get some like small decorative chests, uh, books, things like that. Anything that kind of makes it look nice. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, when we decorate our feast tables, we're just doing the same thing for our items. We're just we're just jamming it up a little bit, making it look a little nicer. Um, the benefit to it is not just the judging, because obviously we don't judge based off of what your display looks like. However, we do really look at items um, and have a yeah. subconscious effort on there, because again, it, that's sales and marketing for it. So even though we're not judging you based off of that, it's a preconception that's in our mind. Um, a benefit is is that if anybody's taking pictures of the items they look really nice online so somebody goes "Ooh, that's a nice setup who did that that's you on there so it does anybody have any questions and you can talk that's fine i don't care uh can i can i put this on my website later? you can put this on your website can i make your phone make noises 
you do anyways like that because Facebook Messenger just likes to give me a buzz alert every time despite me telling it not to. <laughs> Kelly's repeatedly messaging me. She's like that. <laughs> So I did put a lot of examples, or not a lot, but I did put uh, photographic examples in the document as well. Those were literally ones that I made up today, um, like a, a baked a cake and everything. That was dinner from last night, the whole nine yards. Um, so those are just examples that I had laying around for them. It's obviously not complete, um, but I will tell you that I, I do a lot of judging, not so much lately, obviously. But I do a lot of judging, and when I see an item that's displayed nicely, I, I do. I, I know subconsciously I've got that kind of thought in my head of, oh, that item's going to be nice. Let's go look at that. Or, oh, that's a really neat setup. Okay, let me look at the item. So it seems silly, but it, it honestly, it does. It, and it just makes the whole kind of ANS entries look nicer and the competition just nicer as well. Thanks, Kelly, again for messaging me. What are friends for? So see, I said that wasn't definitely gonna take an hour. So anything <laughs> else besides Kelly messaging me repeatedly? Otherwise we can go ahead and uh, end the live now and then just uh, take a break for the admins and uh, start chatting.